Hello, welcome back to our House of Ashes playthrough. In our last video, we had to leave Clarice behind because she was turning into a vampire. And our characters were all kind of separated. So now Salim is with Coat Check. And the other two are kind of separated from everyone else on their own. So we're going to see what happens to them today. And we're going to get right back into this. Hopefully we won't lose any more characters because we lost Dar, who we didn't really get to know, but we also lost Eric in the last few videos, so we have two characters dead already. <laughs> we seem to be in a new area we haven't really explored yet the new part of the temple. Well, this place is a jack-in-the-box. Does he mean that something might pop out? What is this place? What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. See that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. You crazy? If those vampires come from anywhere down there, you really want to find them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I guess we're going for it. I feel like this can only end badly. Imagine below a certain amount of feet you would uh, An start to cook. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? One returns to the light, while the other goes out forever. Poor Eric. Bad luck. But then again, Eric cheated death once before back on that highway perhaps death finally caught up with him let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen sergeant k those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale as for jason and salim Sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it. Okay, don't really know what his deal is. Alright, I guess we're getting some backstory today. Again? Jesus, Eric, how many times? This is me. This 
is my way of dealing with it, and I'm done trying to explain it to you. Yes, yes, this is my life now, and I'll live it on my terms. Wait, what, what did you just say? Oh, uh, bad time? Yeah, it's a real fucking bad time. I'm just dropping off the files you requested. Not now. I said not now. Well, I, I didn't mean to upset you. It's not you. Seems like out here we're we're all running away from something. I know I am. You were caught up in that mess at the checkpoint. You shot that woman. It's okay. You can talk to me. It's just everyone seems to have an opinion on it. I'm dealing with it in my own way. Are you? You got your own problems. And whoever that was, that sounded like a, a gold medal asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, you'll deal with it. Or say the word. And I'll handle it for you. Is he offering to kill Eric for her? Is that what's happening here? Okay, I guess we're going to see what happened to him. Because he got thrown into, I guess, a pile of bones. Jeez. But he's still in the Jeez. room they got attacked in. Are they in the same room? Keep it together. I guess they're going to be working together. We're going to have two teams of two. <sighs> Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. this dead end anyway. We just wouldn't have had time to hide. Oh, I'm terrible at this. So far we're zero for two at this game. Just press the button too early or too late and end up having to fight our way out of this anyway. Come on, don't make us do that again. Oh, we're done for if we gotta play this again. This is gonna be strike three right here. Yep, too early. It 
at least we didn't lose a character here. Of course it's not going to be dead. We didn't stab it through the heart with a stake. Of course, the, the moving hand is so cliche at this point. That was too close back there. We're still breathing. We've not all been so lucky. All that matters is you're okay. Do we need to talk? About what? About us. I need to know what's happening with us. If I die tonight, I want to die knowing where I stand with you. Seeing Eric again, he reminded me of the man that I fell for all those years ago. You came along just when I needed you the most. I'll forever be thankful for that. Something's changed? I don't need anyone's help to climb out of my own hell. It's over, Nick. Let's go find Kolchak. That's what you want. It's funny. Before today, I had planned on leaving Eric for good. But he held tight to that rope. All the way. That's gotta mean something. I had so much I wanted to say to him. But I ran out of road. It's Jason. He's alive. We should go. I wonder if Eric had cut the rope if she would have developed a relationship with Nick instead. Again, I don't think it's possible to be this far below the surface without cooking to death. I think the heat would be too much that far down, but maybe I'm wrong in that. seen some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them, or...? I don't need to be a smart ass. Just move. I'm pretty sure you'd hit bedrock before 3,400 feet. Cocoon? Looks like those things came from here. <laughs> Looks like formaldehyde. So when did you become a scientist? They don't teach you American science at school. We should stay clear of it. Belongs to Randolph Hodgson. Maybe he's got some intel that could help. I didn't help him. Ah, uh, it's blank. Ah, shit. All the pages are torn out. Okay, not really sure what we're looking for, but we'll keep examining whatever we can find down here. Down here. 
She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Huyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. Alright, so it seems like the archaeologists were led into a trap by one of the team members who was turning into a vampire, I guess. What? This goes further down? And are those vampires' teeth that we're emerging from? Like the mouth of a big statue? These vampires somehow tunnel into the Earth's core? Some... or not the core, the mantle, I guess. In Makanda. Yeah, what you said. Nothing should go down like 4,000 feet into the earth, I don't think. That seems unrealistic. But we're gonna have to explore this giant chamber, figure out what's going on in here. How we can escape and not die. What is this hell? Reminds me of Black Reef. Is this even real? We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. The fucking gig. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. <laughs> I miss him so much. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I... We were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. Woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. Tell me. I ordered. I ordered for her to stop, loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I uh. I had to make a call. Nick. He shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. This, this bullshit, I'm not here to honor the dead, 
Truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? When those towers were hit, I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her, and we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. But you have mine. We go inside there and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They try to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Hoorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey, whatever happens out there, I got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. All right, so these two characters have chosen to be more proactive and less reactive and are going off to explore what looks like Blackreach from Skyrim. But that's going to do it for today's video. So as always, thanks for watching and come see our next House of Ashes video. Bye for now.